I'm Shelly Turner with the Builderall team. In this video, we're going to go over the blueprint and we're going to edit the sales letter funnel. Now that we've got our funnel loaded, I'm going to go ahead and click the grid lines and the ruler to get rid of those. And let's go ahead and take a look at the blueprint first so we can see the structure of this funnel. So I'm going to go to the page icon and go to blueprint and click that. And here's our blueprint for this particular funnel. So the first thing that happens is we send traffic to the funnel and that traffic can be from Facebook, it can be from YouTube, or even from another one of your funnels that you're sending into this funnel. They're going to hit an opt-in page and that opt-in page is going to allow them to put in their name and their email address. And then from the opt-in page, they're going to be sent to a sales letter. And that sales letter is going to be promoting and talking about your product. And then at the end of the sales letter, they can choose to make a purchase. So they click a button and they'll go to the one-time offer. If they go to the one-time offer and they say no thanks, they'll be sent to a downsell page. If they make the purchase, then they'll be sent to the thank you page. We're going to skip the offer wall. We're going to send them straight to the thank you page. If they choose to not choose the one-time offer and they do purchase the downsell, once they purchase that, they'll be sent to the thank you page. So we're going to configure that whole setup and let's go ahead and jump in and start editing. So I'm going to go to the page icon and I'm going to choose sales letter funnel and I'm going to click the arrow. And we're going to start with the opt-in page. That's the very first page that we're going to hit. And we need to make sure that it's configured to accept the first name and email of your people that visit your site. So in order to configure that, you need to right click. And you need to go to configure. It jumps straight to mailing boss for me. And now I can choose whichever list I want to choose. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the sales letter funnel. And now it's set up so that all of my leads will go into that mailing boss list. But the next thing I need to do is configure to tell it what page to go to next. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to change URL. And for each of the URLs, the pending subscribe, I'm going to send to the sales letter page. The subscription confirmed, I'm going to send to the sales letter page. And for the unsubscribe, I'm going to send them back to this opt-in form so that they can choose to opt in again if they want to. So I'm going to click the no action button. I'm going to choose page. I'm going to click select and I'm going to go to opt in and then OK. And what that will cause is, is when they unsubscribe, they'll sent, get sent back to the opt in page and they can either leave the opt in page or subscribe again just in case they made a mistake. So once I've got all that set up, I'm going to go ahead and click confirm and then confirm again. And now this page is set up so that they fill out the information and they'll go straight to the sales letter page. Now let's take a look at the next page. So I'm going to click the page icon and go to the first layout and then choose sales letter page. So on this one, we've got a whole sales letter that of course is going to be focusing on the product or the service that we're selling. And so you want to change that accordingly. And then as you scroll down, you'll see that there's a button at the bottom and this button says, I want it now. And then there's another area right here that says, no, thank you. Continue reading. So this button, we want to send them to the OTO, the one-time offer. And this next area, which is just text, we want to send them to the down sell. So let me configure this one first. I'm going to right click the button. I'm going to go to action. And then I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to make sure they're being sent to the one-time offer page and click OK. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and double click to get into the text area. Then I'm going to highlight all the text and then I'm going to find this little chain link right here and I'm going to click that link and then I'm going to send them to the page and I'm going to click the down button and I'm going to send them to the down sell page. Okay, that way they don't have to purchase the one time offer. They can go to a lower priced offer. So I'm going to click down sell and then click OK. And what that does is that creates a linkable text right there so they can choose to either click this button to go to the one-time offer or they can go to the text link and choose the down sell. Okay, make sure that once you make those changes, you click save. This is our first save. So we need to save our site to our site list and click send and save. Now let's go to the next page. So I'm going to click the page icon and the first layout 
and then I'll go to the one-time offer page. So I'm going to click that. And now we've got a great one-time offer page and it has a uh, checkout at the bottom. So here's a button. This button does not have to have an action. So if you want to make sure it does not have an action, just right click, go to action, and then make sure you choose no action. And that way, if they click on it, nothing will happen because we want them to go to the checkout area right here. So there's a couple things you need to do when you're setting up a checkout. And that is to make sure you set up your payment manager and your offer manager first. So let's go ahead and go to that area, which is the shopping bag. And when I click it, I'm going to go to Payment Manager. And I'm going to set up the payment processor that I want to use. For example, I can set up PayPal and then put in my PayPal email address and then click Save. And then the next thing I need to configure is the Offer Manager. So I'm going to click Offer Manager. And I've got two products in there already. So I'm going to pick this first product. And that can be my OTO, my one-time offer, right? And that's what that says, one-time offer. So I click on that, and then I click the Edit button. And this allows me to go in and change the settings. Now I need to make sure that I set everything the way it's supposed to be, title, payment method, uh, currency type, all that kind of stuff. But I need to set the thank you page. So we need to be thinking that once they purchase the one-time offer, where do we want them to go? We want them to go to the thank you page. So I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to choose thank you page. That means that once this purchase is all the way finished, they'll get sent to the thank you page. I'm going to click next. And then I have item number one, which is the one time offer. I'm going to fill all that information out and then I'm going to click save and then confirm. And now this offer has been set up and is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and now right click on the one time offer checkout and click change offer and I'm going to choose the one time offer item and click confirm. Before we move on to the next page, there is one more item on this page we need to configure. Now remember this is the one time offer page. If they choose not to order it, not to purchase it, there's a no thanks at the bottom. We need to right click this and this is a button. And we need to change the action on this button. So I'm going to click action. And then I'm going to send them to the down sell. This is the one time offer page. We're going to send them to the down sell page. So I'm going to click page. And then I'm going to select and choose down sell and then OK. And remember, we've made a lot of changes. So save and then save again. And now we can go to the next page, which is the down sell page. So I'm going to go to the page settings and into my funnel and click the arrow and I'm going to go to the down sell page. Now they'll get to this if they do not want to purchase the one time offer. So they'll end up on this and then we can set up the down sell offer. So remember the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got our payment processor set up which we already set that up when we set up the first checkout and then we need to make sure that our offer is set up. We've already set up one offer, which is a one-time offer. Now we need to set up the down sell. So let's go to our shopping bag and go to the offer manager. And here's the down sell product right here. So I'm going to click on it and then click edit. And I need to make sure that everything is set up here the way I want it. Specifically, I need to set up the thank you page. Right now it's set up to no thank you page. So I'm going to go ahead and click the down arrow. And I'm going to choose thank you page and then I'm going to click next. You'll set up all this information including the title, description, payment method, uh, currency type, and, uh, and then an image. So make sure you set your thank you page as well and click next. And then the item information, you're going to enter all that information in there and then click save. And then confirm. And now that we've got the offer set up inside the system, we then need to go to this checkout right here and right click and choose change offer and choose the down sell and confirm. And now this product is set up. At the bottom, there's actually a no thanks, I don't want this product right now. So if they choose to not purchase the OTO and they choose not to purchase the down sell, from here we can send them to the offer wall. So that's one more way to get them to purchase a product of ours. So let's go ahead and right click this 
and it's text. So I'm going to double click in here and highlight all of the text. And then I'm going to choose my little link right here, like the chain link. And when I click it, I'm going to choose to send them to the page. And then I'm going to click the down arrow and choose offer wall page and then OK. So remember, so far we set it up so they can purchase the OTO, but if they don't want to, they go to the down sell. They can purchase that, but if they don't want to, they'll go to the offer wall. And then everything, the down sell if they purchase and the OTO if they purchase, should send them to the thank you page. That's how we've set everything up. So now I'm going to go ahead and click save and save again. And the next step is go to the thank you page. So I'm going to go into my layout and go to thank you. And remember, if they purchase the OTO, they'll end up here. If they purchase the downsell, they'll end up here. So we need to just make sure we make any edits to say exactly what we want it to say after they make the OTO purchase or the downsell purchase. And then you have a button at the bottom. You can either remove that button or you can leave it there and then send them to another funnel if you want to. If you want to send them to another page or funnel, you just right click and go to action and then choose the action you want to take if you want to send them to another page in this funnel like the offer wall or if you want to send them to another web address like another completely different funnel you can do whichever one you want and that's the last page that we need to set up so that's how you set up the sales letter funnel inside of builderall